Artificial sweeteners and diet sodas remain one of the most controversial topics when it comes to nutrition. Bring up diet soda at your next family dinner if you want some proof of that. So do they cause cancer? Do they cause weight gain? increased cravings or a general tendency towards evil. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at what the science has to say about whether or not diet sodas and artificial sweeteners in general will make you fat. We're gonna take a look at two of the popular claims here. One is that diet soda and sweeteners just make you gain weight independently. Secondly, we're gonna take a look at the claim that they cause you to have an increase in your appetite and a craving for more foods or sweet foods. Lots of science and research coming your way, so be sure to watch the whole video if you wanna get an in-depth understanding of what's going on. Let's just start by getting clear on the basics. How weight gain actually works. We know that your body weight is determined by your calorie balance, meaning how many calories you intake relative to how many calories you burn. So if you want to gain weight, you need to either be less active or you need to consume more calories. And since sweeteners are zero calories and they don't cause you to be less active, then there would need to be some kind of independent variable in which they cause you to gain more weight, like through appetite and eating more food. And look, this is just not anything that we've seen in any of the evidence we have available. In fact, most of the scientific literature Literature seems to point towards the opposite. In 2021, a group of researchers from the United Kingdom sought out to analyze the available data that we had on artificial sweeteners at the time. They compiled 88 separate studies and ended up narrowing it down to 51 papers that they found directly compared the consumption of sugar versus artificially sweetened beverages. They found a couple of really cool things. The first one is that people who consumed more artificially sweetened beverages instead of sugar sweetened beverages generally consumed fewer calories on average each day, which is no surprise because sugar contains calories and artificial sweeteners do not. They also found that people who switched to low calorie sweeteners from sugar sweetened beverages lost anywhere from half a kilo to one and a half kilo on average, which totally makes sense because reducing your calorie intake will result in losses in body weight. And here's where things get interesting because this batch of studies they analyzed in this meta-analysis contained both parallel studies and crossover studies. And in a parallel study, the subjects are divided into two separate groups and they're each given individual interventions. So group A gets one intervention, group B gets one intervention, and they go on their way getting their intervention. And then at the end, the results are measured and compared and they look at the different data. Right? And in a crossover study, the subjects are split into groups and then given their individual interventions, and then there's a washout period, typically a time period where they're not given any intervention so that they can kind of return to baseline. And then they're actually given the opposite intervention and then the results are recorded. So they showed in some studies that people would switch to sugar sweetened beverages, they'd gain weight, there'd be a washout period so they could return to baseline. They'd cross them over and switch them back to artificially sweetened beverages and they'd lose weight. And the opposite would happen in the other group, which is pretty wild. But this is something very important to remember about artificial sweeteners. They're not magical. In fact, they do pretty much nothing in your body. The only reason that they lead to body weight reductions in these people is because they're switching from sugar sweetened beverages to artificially sweetened beverages. They're switching from a calorie containing beverage to a zero calorie beverage. And that reduction in calories is what causes the reduction in body weight, not some magical ingredient or mechanism that's going on in the body. But at this point, we're starting to pretty much rule out the idea that there's something nefarious going on with artificial sweeteners that causes you to gain body weight. In fact, I'd wager that the lives of millions of people would be improved or maybe even saved if there was a tax placed on sugar sweetened beverages or if they were eliminated entirely. I mean, think of the relief that the healthcare system would experience after a decade or two decades of a reduction in body weight, a reduction in obesity rates in the general public due to the mass acceptance of artificial sweeteners. I think it would be truly crazy. Now let's take a look at the idea that artificial sweeteners cause an increase in appetite and an increase in cravings. In this study by Anton and colleagues, they had 31 subjects enter the lab on three separate occasions. When they entered the lab, they were given a breakfast that was 469 calories, cereal with milk, toast with butter, and a glass of orange juice. And then they were given a preload meal that was tea and crackers with cream cheese. During each visit, the cream cheese was either sweetened with aspartame, stevia, or sucrose, which is table sugar. After that preload meal, they were made to wait for 20 minutes, and then they were encouraged to eat as much or as little as they liked at a lunch and a dinner buffet. And throughout the process, the participants measured their hunger and fullness levels using a visual analog scale, which basically means that they just showed them a chart, zero to 100, how hungry, how full are you? And they said, I'm about this hungry or this hungry. And they measured that at various points throughout the study, as well as taking their blood samples to measure their blood sugar response around the meal times. So what happened is actually pretty cool. 
if you want to pause the video and try and guess what happened, you can. Funnily enough, the subjects actually rated the aspartame sweetened cream cheese as the most delicious one, which is bizarre, but there you go. And each group across the board reported fullness levels that were nearly identical. They also consumed a nearly identical amount of calories at the buffets. Except here's the important part, and the really big distinction with artificial sweeteners, is that the groups who had the stevia cream cheese and the aspartame cream cheese ate 300 to 330 fewer calories on average than the people who had the sugar sweetened cream cheese because their cream cheese contained no calories. And yet they felt just as full and they consumed just the exact same amount of food at the lunch table. So this study, although small in its sample size, suggests that artificial sweeteners don't have an impact on our appetite levels. It doesn't cause you to crave more foods. In fact, calorie per calorie, it's actually far more satisfying than sugar because it's basically zero calories which kind of means that if you were to replace all the sugar in your diet with sweetener, you'd likely experience a pretty big reduction in overall calorie intake while maintaining roughly the same level of satiety, fullness, and satisfaction. You may not even notice a difference in flavor as well if you're anything like the people in this study, which is pretty crazy. Here's another randomized control trial looking directly at this claim from 2020 by Stamataki and colleagues. They had 20 healthy subjects enter the lab and they provided them with one of five types of beverages before measuring their blood sugar, their levels of appetite, and then their calorie intake at an ad lib lunch buffet. Same thing, eat as much as you want or as little as you like. It was chips, there were fruit, there were cookies, and there were ham sandwiches with cheese on the table. They could pretty much just have whatever they wanted. They were either given water, which is not sweet and zero calories, or they were given water with glucose, which was sweet with calories, water with sucrose, which was sweet with calories again, water with maltodextrin, which was unsweet. They couldn't taste any sweetness, uh, but there were calories. Or they were given water with stevia, which was sweet, but it had zero calories. And they didn't know which were which. In fact, this is a double blind randomized control trial, meaning even the researchers didn't know which were which. Sure enough, the group who only had water before the lunch consumed the most calories at the buffet. So water had the least impact on their appetite. The folks who had the calorie containing beverages, the glucose, the sucrose, and the maltodextrin, they all consumed around the same amount of calories at lunch, except it ended up being right around the same amount of calories that the water group actually consumed when we accounted for the calories contained in the actual sugar sweetened beverage. The people who consumed the fewest total calories were in the stevia group. So in this paper, again, we're seeing that these artificial sweeteners don't somehow cause you to want to make up for the calories that they helped you avoid in the first place. And those findings line up with a paper from 2009 that looked at people in the National Weight Control Registry for people who lost at least 30 pounds or more and kept it off for at least a year. And they found that people who were in this weight loss and maintenance group who've lost at least, I think it was 10% of their body weight and kept it off, consumed three times as many artificially sweetened beverages as people who had just maintained a normal weight for an extended period of time. So it seems like artificial sweeteners are a fantastic way to reduce the overall calorie intake of your diet without having a meaningful impact on your appetite. They don't cause you to crave individual foods. They don't seem to cause you to crave sweets in any way. And if anything, diet soda and artificial sweeteners probably make you leaner, not fatter. And if you do want to lose a bunch of weight, you want to lose a bunch of fat, then don't shy away from artificial sweeteners. Obviously you don't have to include them, but if you're already consuming a lot of sugar sweetened beverages and foods, then switching to artificial sweeteners is a very low barrier to entry way to kickstart that weight loss progress or actually accelerate it if you're already making progress with this stuff. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel to see more. And if you have any questions or other topics you want me to cover, leave that in a comment below and I will get to it as soon as I see it. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mateo. As always, I'll see you in the next one.